Okay, now we render. <sighs> I didn't think it was going to take six hours to render a video like this, but that's tutorials for you. Well, in the meantime, I guess I can play some of my Konami slots. National Martini Day? Pretty sure that's not what June 19th is, but sure, why not? Alright, let's pick up these chips and... What in space is this? Quarantini? Oh, time for an episode of the Sea Word, isn't it? Okay, let me go find my British accent. Is the Ace of Vegas, the Ace of Vegas. Martinis, one of the best known alcoholic beverages of all time. Now they're typically made with gin and vermouth, but as times have changed, the drink has changed with it. And partially due to the popularity of James Bond, I'd like to think vodka martinis are now on the rise in popularity. As a result, we're gonna go ahead and analyze a new drink today. A martini made by our friends over at My Konami Slots. It's called the My Konami Quarantini. Let's go ahead and see if this thing is worth its salt. But certainly not on the rim because it's a martini and not a margarita. But let's have a look. First, two shots of vodka. Personally, I'm not a big vodka drinker. But if I absolutely must, I generally prefer a flavored one. But since this is a new recipe, we're gonna go ahead and stick with our standard Smirnoff vodka. Bottle of triple sec, pour in about half a shot. Triple sec is a lovely orange liqueur. The second its name comes from the French word meaning dry, referring to the dried orange peels that are used to make the drink. It's popularly used in kamikazes, Long Island iced teas, and of course, margaritas. Not unlike this one, even though this is still technically a martini. Pour a nearly full shot of cranberry juice, about three quarters of a shot. You'll probably want to stick to a cranberry juice cocktail rather than pure cranberry juice, largely because pure cranberry juice is rather tart and bitter, and the sugar in this one allows you to offset the taste of the vodka. Next, lime juice. Fresh, never from concentrate. You'll absolutely regret using lime salt, largely because lime salt is going to mess up the mixture, and lime concentrate, well, it tastes of bollocks, and nobody wants their drink to taste of bollocks. Use a proper lime. Pull your favorite shaker down from, oh wait, hang on. And then we also did get an official My Konami Slots uh, tumbler over here. So I can, um, so it, it functions as a water bottle too. But let's be honest, you guys know what we're using this for when we get back to Vegas. Not exactly what it was meant for, but let's be honest. Konami knew who they sent this to when they sent it to me. So I think we found ourselves our tumbler. Pick your favorite shaker, fill with ice, then pour in your shots. Shake well. Chop fresh orange, set aside for serving. Pour into your favorite glass. Garnish with an orange slice and a lime wedge for good measure. My Konami Quarantini, done. Alright guys, I honestly gotta admit, this one's not too bad. There's a lot of vodka in it. I'm gonna tell you that straight up. Like, half the drink is vodka, and I think it ought to be a flavored vodka, maybe. I don't know, maybe like a pineapple, or maybe even a cranberry vodka as well. Might work a little better for it. Not such a bad idea, so you know, mad shout out to our friends over at my Konami Slots. Don't forget to go ahead and follow their Facebook page in the description box below. And you can pick up some free my Konami Slots chips while you're over there. Just saying. But you know what, since I got nothing else to do while my videos render, I'm gonna go ahead and take this out to the patio and I will see you guys next time for the How to Play My Vegas Slots video. Viva Las Vegas Viva Las Vegas Viva Las Vegas Viva Las Vegas